Good day, everybody. This is Laura from Laura's Art Corner. Just checking in to see how everybody's doing. Are you uh, tired of being home yet? I am. I'm very, very bored. Um, I'm actually working on a few projects. And um, so I might start one here tonight with you. Um, but all in all, how are you handling the coronavirus? I mean, we're in Iowa and we finally made the map to having coronavirus about two and a half weeks ago when some people came back from a cruise trip to Egypt. Um, three of them had the coronavirus and now we are up to 124. I mean, that's just crazy. Scary, crazy, call it what you want, but, um, you know, I work at a school, and so we're off till um, April 13th, and I was kind of looking forward to retiring in a couple years, but after just having just a few more days in spring break, it kind of reality sets in that I'm not sure I'll be able to sit still that long. <clears throat> but anyway, as you can see, my shelves are full. <laughs> and I'm also offering a coupon. And the coupon code is COVID-19. COVID-19. Um, for 10% off. So feel free to use that until March 27th. Um... I was planning on going to see some friends uh, in Kansas City, and we were going to do a little arting together. Um, these are friends of mine that I've had for years, and one just recently I met on Facebook. And um, But we had to cancel, of course. Um, the, I've only actually been out of the house since Friday the 13th, two times. One, to give some gifts to a friend that I'd made for her and her dog who had passed away. And the other time was to hand out treats to a friend. So, and literally pass them off, you know, through the cars. You, the one I did, but we practiced social distancing. Um, so anyway, um, so we are canceled from school and won't be going back till April 13th. So I'm going to be even more bored, but we have to do this. We have to do this for the safety all of us, for all of us. I mean, I just turned 60 in January, so I'm at risk. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was a very very healthy person until I started the school and so everybody says oh you'll get used to it and you know your immune will will get used to it being around those sick kids and everything but it, it hasn't so I'm still always in the fall time and winter time I'm always sick um, I've been sick since sep the end of September I caught I don't know what it was some kind of flu bug or something. <clears throat> they put me on antibiotics, which don't do any good if it's a viral thing. And um, so I had sinus infection. I had, it was in my lungs then. It also backed into one of my ears. Um, but it was only there for like a day or two. Now, I have never had any ear problems or, you know, I've had a few sinus infections through my lifetime. I think we all have. Um, but nothing until just recently, within the last two years, I've had quite a few. Um, so anyway, so I got sick in September, just as I was starting to feel a little bit better mid-October, um, was the flu shot time at school. You know, we do it at school, um, it's covered by our insurance, well... I forgot you're not supposed to get the flu shot if you're still sick. So 
needless to say, I got sick again. And luckily, it was just after Thanksgiving that I started feeling better. <clears throat> and then, you know, I started taking pro and or probiotics. I started taking echinacea. Um, I just wanted to stay healthy because I was going to Australia to see Susanna. And that was over the Christmas break. And so I was probably not sick for about three weeks. And then I went to Australia, came back, was fine. Um, and then I just recently came down with something and it backed up into both ears. I had a double ear infection. Um, it wasn't in my lungs too bad though. I got checked and they said it was, my lungs were clear and everything. Um, but it was mostly in my head, but, um, it backed up into both ears and I, you know, I mean, it was blocked for two weeks. It was horrendous. I, I can't even tell you, you know, I have a friend that's hard of hearing out of one ear. Well, now I know how she feels because it was in both ears and it was terrible. I mean, I couldn't listen to the radio, right? You know, I had to turn it all the way up. And so anyway, um, and so now I am better. I'm feeling better. Um, and then this coronavirus is here. So needless to say, we are um, still handing out um, school lunches. Um, they have asked us since they're going to pay us if, you know, if we could volunteer. Um, but I'm just so glad because Sunday night they um, emailed us and said, you know, if you're at risk or um, have kids that you have to stay home with, then they, they don't expect you to, to volunteer. You know, I am the part, the type who I've always volunteered for things. I'm a very giving person and I um, always donate to certain organizations and and so it's it's been a struggle for me not to be able to do my part but it all comes down to taking care of yourself and you know like I said I turned 60 in in January and I just I can't afford to get this virus that's going around so I'm just doing my part and I'm staying home so anyway let's get working here um Right now, I've got an order for a um, jewelry trinket box that my husband makes, and she wanted pinks, so I have to, I think I got some glitter there, I have to paint the top of the lid white so that um, I'm going to put white and pink on top of it. Um, I'm also going to use this crystal. Actually, let me show you the trinket bowl. I put it on Facebook the other day. This is spalted hackberry. It's very beautiful. I love it. Um, I was planning on keeping this one, but my friend was interested in this one. So this is the one she's getting. And then I'm going to use that little crystal and it will be the handle. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just painting the top of this lid. Sorry, I was in my mode. Completely forgot. I was thinking I'd probably do music, but I think I'll say a few things here. Um, I paint the top of these when I'm gonna do um, a lighter color on top. And otherwise, if it's a darker color, then I just pour over the, over the wood. But I thought I'd be safe, and since I'm doing white and pink, maybe a little silver or gray. I'm not sure which one yet. So this always, you know, it doesn't have to be completely opaque. Just a little bit to help out. 
so that you don't see the wood grain underneath your pretty colors. But I think I'm going to use um, pink velvet. It looks really pink there, but it's it's not as pink. I mean, it's, it is kind of pink, but it's not hot pink or anything. And I'll have to figure out if I'm going to do gray or if I'm going to do silver. Because I, I thought about putting some of these cute little rhodonites around the crystal. Or some pink glass. I'm not sure yet. Alright, let me go uh, wash up my brush and I will dry this with the heat gun so that I can pour it. Be back soon. Okay. So I decided to go with a pearl white. So I mixed the pearl white and I went with the silver gray. And it's just gonna be a little bit of the pink and the gray. It's gonna be mostly white. So the girl uh, that ordered this from me is ordering it for her daughter-in-law. And I guess she likes pink. So, here it goes. Hopefully. Quite thick. Oh, by the way, I am using this um, full rizzle art resin that um, is supposed to be good for people who are get allergic reactions. Um, I did use it uh, a couple weeks ago and did not get any reaction at all. I'm just going to heat it up here for a little bit and thin it down a little bit. This pearl is very, very pretty. It's pearl white by Lorez. And it just looks so soft and glimmery.
that's pretty. I think I want a little more pink in it though. kind of cool what this silver gray is doing in this resin you can't see it now but it's got all kinds of cells in there What do you think? You think I should add some crystals or some rhododendrite? Rhodonite? Well, I think for now I'm just going to set it aside because I just wanted, since these are polished stones, I was going to wait for the resin to kind of set up a little bit because otherwise they're gonna sink to the bottom and that's like a waste. So, I don't know, what do you think? You think this would be too busy? I think it will. All right, well, I'm gonna think on that a little bit. I'm gonna set this one aside. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the The cells or not and usually I just play with the leftover resin I've done some little pieces here that are kind of fun um, this one I just love this one I love this one too I don't know if you can see that it's got some hydrangea petals in it this one's kind of different. <laughs> I really like this one. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It's got some little pink flowers in it. Anyway, I've got an Australian shell. thought I would put that in this little thing. I will let that one cure. And then pour a second layer like a background color so that it kind of shows off the shell. This, I really love this. I should have ordered a couple of them, but they make little gemstone type things. <clears throat> so you just 
just put clear in them.
Good morning, everybody. I'm going to pull a few of these. Well, first I'll, um, I use these, um, Eco Art little cups. I just love these. They really come out easy. Huh. Maybe I'll save that one. <laughs> Make something out of that. But these really, really clean up nicely. That will come out with just a little bit of soapy water. <clears throat> anyway. Let's see what this little guy looks like. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can get something white to put it on. It's one of my favorite little molds. It's so cute. And let's see about this one. The back of this is like textured. This is still a little bit soft, but I mean, it's... Put it back down on a flat surface. It's kind of cute. And so there's just a little bit here that I'll have to sand up. These little guys are really cute. I should have gotten, this is the one I should have gotten several. Because they just look like little diamonds when they come out. This is a little urchin. That one had um, the pearl white and the silver gray in it. This one, I wonder if it's even ready, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh yeah, it's ready. That's the little shell. Kind of cute. I can still brush a little bit of, or maybe even put some dots of a pen that would kind of look cool on there. This is the Rotonite. <clears throat> I'll make a cute little pendant. This one, I'm going to pour a background color on it. This one has a, a shell from Australia, and then I put some of the... I'm not even sure what this is, but it was some kind of... I want to say it, it was like a plant life of some sort, all dried plant life. Um, so yeah, I'll put a, it's not full all the way, so I'll put another layer in there and then it'll make that pop. And I think that's it. So here's some, some, here's some of the other ones I've done. These have dried flowers in them. This one has rhodonite in them that has dried flowers in them
these two I did together, kind of the same. I really like this one here too. So, yeah, you know, it's kind of fun to play with your leftover resin. And um, here's the box. And I think I'm going to add some silver leafing somewhere around here to kind of give it a little pop. It turned out really pretty. It's hard to see, but maybe you can see it that way. I did sprinkle a little bit of um, this pink rainbow glitter that I have now so basically I used all of these I used pearl white pink velvet and silver gray and I used some pink rainbow glitter thanks for watching guys I um, I'm gonna do a geode now I actually started it and so I need to finish it. I got all the stones laid out on on it, and I just need to, and I got it painted for the background. So I'm just going to have to lay the resin over, but I'll video that. All right, have a great day. Be safe. Be healthy. Bye now. Well, I decided to put some of the, the clear crystals, that those tiny ones that came out of that one mold, you can see them here. I'm just putting those on top. I don't have them glued down yet. I have another bunch of these, so I think they came eight. So there's eight here, and then I have eight more. And I think that'll look pretty sitting on top. So I'll just get a little bit of resin and then just add those to the top.